Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy N A P P I E, and welcome to my channel. On today's episode, you would love it. We are going to educate ourselves, learn something new, and we are going to inspire other people about what we are about to do this afternoon. Why is she nodding? <laughs> I'm a green. I'm a green. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so she's ready. Yes, so let's just get into the video. <laughs> All right, so we have our sister, we have our mother, we have our wife, we have our auntie. We have, hey, see how people are writing wife. Okay. <laughs> so um, this afternoon, we are going to educate ourselves about being black here in Africa, in other part of the world, are you really accepted wherever you go and all that? So, are you ready? I'm ready. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. So before we start the video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get a notification when I post a video. Please, let's do this and hit twenty thousand ASAP. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um. Before we get into the video, can you please introduce yourself? I am a Thai Inspire. You can call me mm -hmm. Thai. Um, or Tiffany mm. um, but yeah so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and talk about travel um, ins <laughs> inspiration you asked me to introduce myself so here we go <laughs> and um, come on join the fun over there mm. Mm. yeah all right um, for how long have you been in Ghana I've been here for about six months wow half a year are you enjoying everything it's crazy I, I am, yeah, like I'm totally enjoying it. It's amazing. I'm having a great time. Wow. She's yeah. having a great time. Yes. How many countries have you been so far? Um, Somewhere around 15, I think. Wow. I don't. I've not even done half of it. <laughs> You'll get there. Don't yeah, worry. I'll pass you soon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So um, how many African countries have you been and how many European and um, American countries? <laughs> um, I've been to two African countries, mm -hmm. technically, and um, just no two European countries, mm -hmm. and then the rest has been Southeast Asia, oh, mostly. So nice. yeah, nice. Yeah. So I watched one of your videos. That's why I'm interviewing you today. That you're saying uh, that was the title of the video. That you were saying in uh, everywhere you go, uh -huh. you don't, don't belong. belong. Yep. When yeah, I watched the video. I go what you said, but I still want to get much explanation into it. Yeah, all right. So, yeah. when especially here in Africa, mm -hmm. because you are here, mm -hmm. do you belong here or not? Hmm. Mm. That's a good question. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I'm always the foreigner, I'm always the outsider, mm. even in America. It's the same. I know that I don't belong there, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I came to Africa, one of the reasons, there are several reasons, but I guess one of those is because I felt like I belonged here and this was home. And so I would come and, and have this big reckoning and mm -hmm. that would be it. But instead, I didn't necessarily receive that. Now, my experience hasn't been bad or anything, but I have just had a few experiences where I felt like, um, you know, people, not I felt, but people were looking at me as mm -hmm. a foreigner or, right. or, you know, someone that didn't necessarily belong or fit in. Because I think my whole thought process was, oh, I'll just come and just blend in and they'll be like, hey, welcome home and everything's all good. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's, that's not necessarily how it is, at least yeah. with everyone. It's not. It's not. Mm. So um, let's say <laughs> whenever you talk, does it make you different or you, when, when you're walking on the street without talking, mm -hmm. do they see you the same as them or whenever you talk, that's when they see you different? I think it's mostly when I talk, mm -hmm. but I have had some experiences or at least one experience where mm -hmm. somebody was yelling like American girl, you know, so I don't know if without they already talking? knew I wasn't talking, wow. just walking, <laughs> minding my business and I'm hearing this. So I don't know if they just, can tell by the way I dress or something. I don't know what it is, but yeah. So do you think the Afri lame African man is ignorant or he or she is not studying his or her history? 
Well, I mean, so the average person in mm -hmm. gen general mm -hmm. is not studying history. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. just it's just not unless you're interested in that type of thing or you're wanting to travel this type of um situation. So I think that it is ignorance as far as ignorance in the way of just not knowing uh, certain things about um what happened mm -hmm. in the past to black people or to mm -hmm. to African people. Yeah. All right. So what have you learned about this stereotypes traveling around the world? Mm. Yeah, to these 15 countries you've been. What have I learned about the stereotypes? Mm -hmm. um, well, I've learned there are a lot of stereotypes. Yeah. And of course, they're, they're not true. A lot of times, a lot of them aren't true. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I've learned a lot about just discrimination. Mm -hmm. And, you know, how I feel discriminated against in a lot of different areas in different ways. So not necessarily like I don't, I'm not welcome there, but still being discriminated against, or they just start shocked, okay. especially in Southeast Asia. They're just totally shocked to see me <laughs> like they've never seen a black person before, which is probably true in mm -hmm. real life. So, I mean, extreme, extreme. Yes. I, I think I shocked somebody once so much that they shocked me. <laughs> you know, it, it makes sense. Like, yeah. seriously, they were like, <gasps> and I'm like, what are you really this surprised? You know, like they were genuinely that, that shocked. So, yeah. Wow. wow. So Crazy. this with this discrimination and all that, what do you think the solution can be? Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, exposure. Exposure. Yeah, I think exposure i think in some of these countries they're just not exposed uh, will that happen um the more we travel the mm -hmm. more we get out there the more they're going to be exposed so that's a way of exposure mm -hmm. so sure we got to get out there and uh, uh, help people we gotta get out there and help people yeah ah, that's yeah. amazing yes we need to help people and then help them know so many things in the world because there are some countries that are not even on the internet they don't even get access to internet there are so many villages here in ghana especially that they don't have even phones to get even access to internet yeah know what is going on she may go to a village here in ghana they may think she is obroni and when i say obroni you guys know what i mean because her accent is different when i say obroni obroni means a white person so yeah this is what is happening in the world right now and we are trying to bring people closer to the world and know what it is so um, now let's come back home. Mm -hmm. You've been all around these places, mm -hmm. and you are here in Ghana, which is let's say the last country you've been before this pandemic. All right, and mm -hmm. you are stuck here. <laughs> 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 You're stuck here. Uh huh. For six months, how safe do you feel here? Oh, very safe. Very uh, safe. Yeah, maybe not being attacked by anyone. <laughs> no, people don't do. S s <laughs> no, nothing, nothing. No, I feel completely safe. I'm oh. very relaxed, mm -hmm. and my guard is completely down. So yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. So moving around alone. Mm -hmm. How is it like moving around alone? That's how I want to ask. It's it's good. I don't feel unsafe at all. Actually, people are very helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause I get lost. I get lost a lot. <laughs> like. <laughs> This is the story of my life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I have to ask for help and people are willing, you know, to help mm -hmm. and, and not take advantage of me. So, yeah. People helping and not taking advantage of you as in taking your money or ripping you off. Right. Or, or the other way. Oh, <laughs> all of those things, you know? <laughs> yeah. All, all right. So I'm here to take advantage of her. And she has run up taking advantage of me advertising on my channel. <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, so um, um, before we go to your last words, okay. all right, um, coming to Africa yeah. as a woman, uh -huh. what was the feeling like coming to Africa as a woman? Um, it was great. I mm. mean... I travel alone a lot, mm -hmm. so I didn't have any concerns really about being a woman. Mm. Uh, yeah, I didn't feel any different, honestly. I don't, I guess I don't think of it in that way. Wow.
she doesn't think of it in that way. <laughs> Last Maybe question. Because we need to talk about it. People say we're always talking about positivity, positivity, positivity. Let's just talk about one thing that you've seen that this is really bad for you as an African American that you've seen that here in Ghana. No, 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 no. It's a no for it. We're not talking about, we're not promoting negativity here. But what you've seen that, like, people will come from Africa, like, let's say from Africa, like, from America, okay. come to Ghana mm. and be like, wow, I didn't know this is, this is what is in Ghana. But nobody's talking about it. What is that <laughs> one thing? What is that one thing? <laughs> yes, because I don't want people to come to Ghana and be shocked seeing that or hearing that. All right, so what is that one <laughs> thing? Why are you laughing? I'm serious. Because I don't think <laughs> I'm going to say it. Yeah, just say it. Just say it. No. Just say it. Um, what is that one thing? Let me think thing? of something yeah. else. The, the first thing that came to my mind, I don't want to say. say it anyway. <laughs> say it anyway. Say it. <laughs> say it, please. You, I think you know anyway, so. <laughs> no. I don't know. Okay, so what is that one thing that people from Europe or from America will come here and be like, wow, we didn't know this. We never saw this. Okay, um, maybe just um, if you're trying to get things taken care of, there's a very uh, laid back attitude, and um, yeah. So you're talking it's, about customer service, right? Custom. I mean, yeah, that can fall into customer service too. Because mm. I was gonna say that separately, but it's the same actually. Mm. But yeah, just a just a very laid back attitude and and i think in the west and in america um customer service is very important mm -hmm. and so here you know somebody may tell you they're going to do something and they don't do it they don't show up mm -hmm. you know um or you may be looking to buy something and you're standing there talking to them and then they are helping you and then they start helping somebody else and that's mm -hmm. just it yeah right. so i guess customer service yeah we can mm -hmm. just generalize yeah. it all no. Um, and it's very important, especially with those coming from the West. Yeah. They, they really need it. Yes. Um, so many yes. people spoke about it during the uh, um, um, year of return in December last year. Mm -hmm. They were saying customer service here is so bad, but we need to look out the way. Yes. So if you are coming to Ghana for the first time or you are coming to Africa for the first time, mm -hmm. please, there are a lot to do here. But with customer service, as she says, you, should, you shouldn't take it personal. Because we, are, we, are, we have a long way to go. We are still learning. Mm -hmm. So if you come and you are not getting it right, please just go by the end. So that's how it is. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, that's the end of this episode. If you learned something new, please leave it in the comment section. If I didn't say anything, please leave it in the comment section. <laughs> and if you want something from me, please leave it in the comment section. And if you want a wife. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you so much for watching this episode. I really appreciate your love and support as always. So catch you on the other side. Peace. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>